Well, hello everyone, and welcome to this little bit of a new game. So I know a few of you guys might have been seeing this game pop up on your little subscription feeds, and I really do have to give a big shout out to my friends over at Sigur Studio for allowing me to actually try out the beta for this game. Oh my gosh, thank you guys so much. And Natalia hooked me up with a wonderful little key for this beautiful game. So aquarium designer, uh, you design your own aquarium and it seems really fun. So I've been playing the demo for it, which you can go check out right now and do keep in mind that this game will be releasing October 21st. So it's almost out, you know, Definitely do try out the demo if you guys haven't already. It's a nice quick little install and you can just play around with your fish like that. So of course, we're just gonna jump right in here today and try it out. So you know what, here we go. Uh, I've always loved aquariums as a kid. I've had many aquariums. Let's call this Leafs Landing. Why not? I've always loved aquariums as a kid. I've always like wanted to have my own. I've had a few of my own tanks for a while now. And, you know, I just don't have one right now, and I really wish I did, because they're so beautiful. But, of course, this is such a lovely little game. It's very much like Planet Zoo. They reached out because of the Planet Zoo stuff. You guys may have seen Rudy and a lady playing these. They are such wonderful at this game. Oh my gosh. But, um, hopefully my skills will be able to match up just the same. And you can do so much in here. There's a campaign mode. There's sandbox mode. There's scaling too, which is going to be really fun. Uh, I can't wait to show off all that to you guys, but of course there's just a lot of fun stuff that you can play around with. And of course there's so many fun little decorations, I mean look at all these, look at all like the jungle ruins and stuff like that, but of course let's talk about the main stars of the show over here, the fish. So of course in aquascaping and stuff like that, the fish really are the focal point, and there's a lot of really awesome fish in here. So of course gouramis are some of my favorites, they're so beautiful. And of course, if you're not really feeling those, you can do small schooling fish like tetras. And in fact, that's what we're going to stick with today. I feel like we can make these guys a nice little tank. In fact, let's get some quarry cats in here. I think the leopard quarry might be pretty fun so we could get a pair of those. And yeah, we can just jump right in here and start fiddling around. Of course, there are filters and stuff like that. In case if you were curious, there's ways to keep your fish nice and happy. There's filters, there's heaters, and there's all that kind of fun stuff. And we can actually tuck these in right on the side over here as to not really obstruct most of our viewing. And we can also keep these guys nice and happy. And I love the model work on these guys. They turned out so well. I love the coloration on them. And I love when they hit that beautiful sunlight. The only thing I wish is... Oh, you can call the fish? No way. Oh, you can call them to a certain area. This is so cool. This is evil. Okay, we're going to have a lot of fun with this. So, of course, you can add plants and decorations in here. I think, you know what? We'll just have a nice, simple tank in here. We're going to have it be nice and lined up with some of these. And look at that. We have scaling as well. That is perfect. It's exactly what I wanted in a game like this. Mega Aquarium, it kind of has those kinds of vibes. But, of course, instead of doing whole aquariums and saltwater tanks, this allows you to kind of take it nice and easy with some freshwater tanks. So, we're not really going to do the campaign mode right now but i just wanted to hop in here with you guys and try some fun stuff out so i'm not sure if we'll make this a series or not i definitely do love this game and it's so fun just to chill out with but just designing these tanks is so fun and like the controls are smooth as butter so unfortunately the tools in the beta uh not the beta the demo aren't really as hard to find too many objects. That is fine by me. They're not really as tight as they are in this version, which you know what? It's worth it. It's honestly worth it. I'm telling you guys right now, I'm very particular about my controls in games like this, but you know, the, what? the controls in here are actually pretty, pretty good. So if I want like a little splash of color over there, it's starting to look pretty good already. I think there should be some, I don't really like that. I want something like dwarf tears, which, you know, 
don't unlock for a little bit, so that's a little bit of a shame, but you know what? We just take these things and we roll with it. And you know what? I hope you guys enjoy this little relaxing gameplay. Like, I, I, I know it's not really your chaotic leaf animal farm kind of stuff like that, but I don't know, it's just really fun just to chill out with you guys. And I hope a lot of you guys like fish. It seems like you guys do, but you know, it's just really fun just to sit down and design these things with you guys, you know? And let's get some swamp weed over there, nice and big strands, just giving it a little bit more height. And you know what? This is starting to turn out pretty damn good. I'm loving this, guys. It's so fun. Uh, can I put any more rocks? No, I cannot. What about decorations? Are there... Oh, too many decorations as well. Well, that is quite a bit of a shame. And I think too many objects in there. Yeah, so that's a little bit of a disappointment for sandbox mode. I, I kind of want to place as many things as I can, but you know what? It's fine because we have this nice little tank. And I'll tell you what, we can even cover it up. So if we go into utilities and appearance, we can plop one down just like that. And it looks so beautiful. But of course, that's just not all that they have. I'll tell you what, we're going to go into the campaign mode because I'm having too much fun. And so you can go right into there and it saves. You can see it on that nice little bureau right over there. But let's do some more campaigns. So I've already done quite a bit. Uh, and hello. I swear I had even more like come through, but I guess that's fine. <laughs> um, so I guess I can't really level up, unfortunately. Maybe I'm playing the wrong version. I wouldn't think so though. Campaign continue. No. Alright, well, I found a bug for you guys, sorry about that, but you know what, let's do a new one. Let's do a nice little casual one, let's do a nice aquarium, kind of like that. Let's do big, yeah, big fish fans, alright, yeah, let's call it big fish fans. Um, yeah, so that's our nice little facade over there. But you know what? I have a little bit of a fun idea. Let's have some fun with this, guys, all right? So, of course, I really do like these tanks. You guys can kind of tell, like, my style. Uh, I definitely love, like, those aquascapes. I do apologize if there's, like, sound in the background. I have my window open because I'm, like, overheating right now. Even though it's, like, in the middle of fall. But... You know what? I'm just having good. I'm gonna have fun with this. But yeah, there's like a lot of wind happening outside right now, so I apologize if you pick that up on your end. I do sincerely apologize. But you know what? We're gonna have fun with this nonetheless. And you know what? We're gonna have skulls. This is gonna be the skull skull dungeon. Yeah. I wish we could rotate these things. That'd be really fun. You know what? Yeah. We're gonna have like. The Skull Factory. I wish we had gravestones. That'd be really fun. But, no, let's just make this nice and happy. Happy Halloween, everyone. Um, yeah, we're implementing pure chaos in here right now. Uh, yeah. I really like that. You know what? This is the most relaxing thing ever. Just seeing a bunch of skulls. And I kind of like the white sand with that. Good contrast, you know? Uh, let's get some plants in here. Ooh, this is kind of... Ooh, I like how strangly that was. Eelgrass? You know what? Sure, let's harken back to our planet zoo roots. Haha, <laughs> get it? Plants roots because plants have roots? That is so quirky and funny, Leaf. Oh my god. Uh, I also love the UI for the scaling, too. So you can see, like, that bar that goes from W to S. This is so intuitive, guys. This is amazing. And, like, this isn't even, like, a game that you really gotta think for. You could just kind of chill out and play this. And, of course, they do have that thinking mode for you. If you do want to play, like, a bit more of a campaign mode, uh, it's really fun. I really do recommend it. It's pretty fun. They introduce, like, a few levels in the demo. So, if you guys are interested, you can definitely pick that up. Uh, wow, this is so fun. I'm sorry, guys. I'm, I'm enjoying this little tank. Let's see what fish would work well in here. Angelfish? The angel of death, yes. Let's get a few angels in here. That is wonderful. Can I use Ansel? I cannot use Ansel. What a shame. Uh, but yeah, that is so fun. Oh my god, what else would go good in here? Let's get a Siamese fighting fish. Species conflict. That's quite a sad, sad moment. But you know what? That is perfect right there. I'm vibing with this. This is so fun. Is there any way to turn this like... Oh, let's call our fish. 
Yeah, let's all make them go one way. It's perfect. Love them. I don't know. I just really like this game. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this episode. If I do get the, um, what do I say? If I do get the career mode to actually work, I'll definitely have more episodes on that. But I really did just want to show you guys this. This is so fun. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for me. Thank you guys for watching. And you know what? We'll end on the fish. I wish there were a hotkey. Debs, uh, Natalia, Natalia, my dear, if you're listening, um, I wish there were a way to hide all the UI so I could get some, like, nice screensaver action. Uh, I feel like that'd be really fun to have as well. Plus, I, like, hear me out. I think this might be really good for playing at Zoo Billboards. Just throwing that out there, guys. But anyways, that is pretty much it. Leaf is going to adjourn. I hope you guys enjoyed the little bit of the Skull Canyon over here. But, of course, with that being said, Leaf is going to adjourn. Have a great day, guys, and I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.